All right, you guys might remember these shoes. I picked them up at the thrift store at the Goodwill, and um, I was just kind of restoring them, and I wanted to kind of document here. So this one here is kind of restored to some extent. Um, it's a nice pair of Converse, Superman, but this is what they looked like originally. So uh, big difference here, and it's just a little bit of elbow grease to kind of get getting the look new again to some extent, even though they are used. But, um, yeah, see the difference here? Let's see if I can do it on the side there. Yeah, look at that. Check that out. So uh, I'm working on that today at the moment, and then uh, we'll put some shoelaces in here, get these listed, and hopefully get them sold. Well, that didn't take long at all. These Converse DC Comics Superman Retro High Top Shoes, Men's 9, Women's 11, got $31.50 shipped for them. Nice. Since we're on the topic of shoes, let's go over some shoes I recently sold. A lot of these, actually majority of these, probably came out of storage units, especially that one unit where I broke my ribs and Kim was going through it. We've pretty much sold all those shoes that were out of that unit, which is kind of nuts. Um, this is a Nike 2014 Air Force One High 07 black and white basketball shoes, size 9. We got $40 shipped for it. Here we have a pair of Bamboo Women's Candace Black Zip Knee High Gladiator Sandals, size 6, new with box. This took some months to sell, but we did flip it. $34.95 shipped. This is why I love finding shoes, especially in storage units, because a lot of times, you know, the clothing, the shoes can make the money other than looking for the gems and the treasures. And uh, here's another pair of Nike Air Jordan Flight 45 High Black basketball shoes, size 8.5. These were used, and we got $49.56 shipped for them. Literally have pennies in these shoes from buying units. Here's another one that sold for $44.95. Nike Air Max 90 LTR Cool Gray Platinum, size 5Y. Youth included the box. They were used. Not too bad. Here's a pair of Nike Air Max Actualizer 2 Men's Basketball White Blue Shoes, size 8.5. They were used. These took a while to sell, a good uh, five, six months. But we ended up getting $25 shipped for them. Here were these Nike Air Jordan Hydro 7 Black Metallic Gold Slides, size 9 with box. I priced these like $10 higher than everybody else because I'm like, you know what, somebody will pay up for these. These were used. We got $35 shipped for them. Here we've got some Nike Air Jordan Toddler Baby Retro V5 Royal Blue Suede Shoes, size 8C. These took, uh, these took almost a good nine months to sell, which is kind of craziness, but uh, they did flip. We ended up getting $21.40 shipped for them. These took a little while to sell as well, probably four or five months on these, just because I think it was there was some fading in one of the shoes. It must have been left out in the sun, but it's an expensive pair of boots, for no doubt. A Solo Atlantis GTX Gore-Tex Gray Pink Women's Hiking Boot Shoes, size 8. Got $40 out the door for it. These also flipped. Nike Air Jordan Flight 97 Dark Gray Basketball Shoes, size 8.5. Really great condition. Took uh, about four or five months to sell on uh, the good old eBay. And uh, got $42.42 shipped for them. And the last pair of boots, shoes we're going to show today that recently sold is this pair of Merrill Monarch 4 REI Kids Youth Brown Green Hiking Camping Boots, size US 4.5. And, and these sold for $35 with free shipping. If you're not looking at shoes and boots, whether you're at the thrift stores or buying storage units, definitely look them up. They're easy to list. And they're easy to ship, so good money, good some good, some good ROI on these guys. Uh, yeah, right now me and Kim are going to run out here and run out to some thrifting, try to find some profits. Looking for that cashola. Are you guys registered to vote in Arizona? Yes, yes we, we are. are. Thank you. Adrian, you're going to go out. It's going to help our firefighters and our nurses and first care responders. All right, cool. Good, how are you? All right. It's like a dead zone in here. You almost need a headlamp to be in here.
Oh, I guess I see you somewhere around. Oh, I guess I see you somewhere around. here. What are you finding, Kim? Some books? Um, before I go back to school. I got laser discs, people. Yep, I did get Stevie. Kim loves little Stevie Nicks, Flute Mac. So that one's going to be a keeper. That's a laser disc there. Got all the hits. Nice. Gotta love it when you go thrifting and you find cool stuff for yourself. I dig it. All right, let's look at some of the items I picked up here. These are all gonna be long tail type of flips, um, but I do love selling media. They're easy to store, easy to ship. Here we have a Smiling the Boy Fell Dead vinyl record sealed. Uh, Gertrude Lawrence, Made in the Dark, sealed. Just not one, but two. Now we got some coolness. Pat Benatar in concert, laser disc. Duran Duran, laser disc. This is a J Japanese import. That's worth a little bit of money. The Tubes video, Jurassic Park laser disc, Saturn 3 laser disc, Phantasm, this might be worth some money. Laser disc there, The Wiz, remember Michael Jackson? Diana Ross, Rodin, Best Movie, Explorers, Little River Phoenix, and then we've got Xanadu. Slim pickings at these thrift stores I went to, but uh, I'm not going to pass up some uh, laser discs and sealed vinyl. I'll take it. All right, got to package this up. This is a, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, Bogan, Bogan? I don't know, look cool when I paid two bucks for it at a garage sale. Took about uh, two months to sell on eBay. Got $45 for it and some change. Gotta love that uh, electronic flip, this little PA type of system. Let's get it shipped up and get it out the door. 88 degrees at 9.48 p.m. And we're on a mission. <laughs> I got my sunglasses. Got my sunglasses, my pack of smokes. And we're going for a little Facebook deal. Looking to buy something super cool. Let's go check it out. There's nobody on the road, Kim. Trucker, the gun on my hip, and the guy at the end of this street. I've got something that's going to solve everybody's problems. I guess it's not an ice cream cone from McDonald's on the way back. Huh? No, well, that sounds kind of good too, though. Okay, you mean we could stop for one? Yeah. Okay. Here we are, we're approaching go the meat. The we're getting close. <laughs> yeah, don't make me pull up next to the uh, scary van. That's gotta be him right here now. Is that a Hyundai? It looks like a Hyundai. Can't show his license plate. It's gotta be him, yep. Alright, pull up here. How's it going, man? Pretty good.
Let's get out of here. Freaking sketchy over here, man. And then, if you look here, I mean, they're just sitting there just enjoying like a donut. I am not gonna lie, it is sketch over here, dude. Missing fenders. I'm, I'm like, oh my god, get me out of The police rolled up in here somewhere at some point. I really? Was, yes. Well, let's make sure I've got what I've got here. Thank God I've got one of these. LED lens are time. Bam. That's all I'm going to show you for right now. Look at that. Yeah, baby. I told her no whipped cream on that thing, and she just emptied it out mm -hmm. and just filled it back up with more ice cream. What is wrong with these people? They don't have skin. I'm sorry. I'd like a fresh one. I watched you just whip, dump the whipped cream off and re put I, it in. I'm allergic to it, so. He's, he cannot have the whipped cream. So I want a fresh one, please. Thank you. I mean, I appreciate these essential workers, Kim, but my God, you know? <laughs> that was, come on, man. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Why are these shakes so good, Kim? I don't know. Do you think they put crack in there? I don't know. So here's it is, guys. This is actually in really excellent condition. But here's the deal. If you want to know what's in here, you have to stay tuned until Friday, because we're going to auction it off. It's pretty epic. I need to get back to Unsolved Mysteries. It just came back out. And this episode here, Berkshire's UFO, kind of crazy. So now i got to get back to the grind, solving these mysteries. See you guys in the next video. Peace.